So your old truck is in Australia, right? The gold truck, yeah, yeah. the gold rush. So that was well, actually... it wasn't gold when I knew it. Oh no, 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 no. That's a whole different one. So that truck, um, the guy watched my videos from the original drag truck, and he's like, "Hey, can you build me one similar to it?" I'm like, "Yeah, of course." I mean, I kind of went at it uh, amateur. I wasn't your top drag truck builder, but I kind of built mine and went fast. So I built that one. It went 880 here. That's probably been five years ago, four four years ago now at least. Yeah, 880 was spicy on that. Thing. 880 in the quarter. I don't remember what the speed was, but it got down. And um, we shipped it to Australia. He ended up wanting a bigger engine because he wanted to go faster. And I just seen recently that the truck went like 9 flat or 890 or something. Like, but since it went over there, like they changed the transmission in it. They did switch it all to Motec because Motec's available. I think it's in Australia, right? Motec, I think. Um, it's kind of all over the place. It's more, it's more there. Australia, okay, maybe it's Haltech. I think it's Haltech. Yeah. So they converted it to Haltech, which was like, it was the first Cummins ever on that. And they finally, the guy that bought the truck and owns it, he's like, his insurance for his businesses won't even let him drive it. Because he's, he's self-worth or something. Net yeah. worth. So he's got a driver, so they just ran it. But my drag truck, I ended up sent to, who's the fab shop that we all used to use? They're still there. They're good people. Yeah, but, um, uh, Profab. Profab. So I had it four linked and a cage done, and I ended up just getting rid of the truck. I got it, it got up done, and I was like, eh, I don't know if this is the direction I would go because it was going to be like anything else, tens of thousands of dollars to make it yeah. competitive because things happen. Cha- things change within a year in the racing. It's a lot Crazy. to maintain a race vehicle, and for content-wise, mm-hmm. it probably isn't your make best sense. use of money. No. So I sold it to a guy, and it sat in his garage, and he sold it to another guy, and it went to UCC, blew up on the dyno. <laughs> Split itself right down and, the middle. And then that guy, like, sold it with no engine in it, and now it's back here in Florida somewhere. Oh, okay. And it's like a battleship gray color. My favorite memory of that truck, maybe, maybe it's rude to say favorite, <laughs> was... <laughs> You proposed. Oh goodness! Yeah, at the time, yep. to the person you're not with anymore. But yeah. you proposed, and I have this thing where anytime anybody's ever proposed and then went to make a pass, it's not a good pass. Yeah, oh, every time I've ever I, seen it. So, this, yeah. so Bruce proposes. Me and Garrett film it. We're on the starting line. He gets in his truck, and he, he you didn't make that many passes in it, but. You get I made up on like the one hit, then I hit another hit. Yeah. Yeah. You get up on the converter and you're just like on the converter. It's just getting hot trying to build boost. Yeah. And I'm just like, oh man. I'm like bumping the nitrous because I had a huge turbo on it. Yeah. We're like, oh man, this isn't looking good. Like me and Garrett are kind of like yeah. looking at each other. He's still on the brake. He's still on the brake. And then you go and it's going. And then like we just see fire out the exhaust. Turbo blew up. You blew, you shot the. Uh, the cold sides yeah. out of the turbo, <laughs> the hot side and the cold side, and then you also balloon the converter. Yeah. So you torched like the trans and converter. Everything. <laughs> I like pulled off the track, it's pouring transmission fluid. I think Garrett drove down there. And, it was like, stopped at the top end. It started to run away <laughs> a little bit too because it was just pumping oil in the intake. Yeah. And diesels will run on anything. Yeah, especially a Cummins. It'll, yeah. And it'll run with a rod outside. And I side. think y'all were posting for 1320 video at the time i think still running their instagram yeah. and like here's this compressor wheel someone found on the track yep just a hot compressor wheel it <laughs> was, was still hot at the booth i remember i've told everybody this though like if you propose right before you're going to make you a pass don't blow it up no it's going to be a bad pass <laughs> oh, nobody yeah. i've never seen anybody make a successful pass after a proposed starting yeah. line proposal because i've seen it before i've i've been I've been in the water box mm-hmm. when a starting line proposal happens, and I'm like suited up, cars running, and I'm like, uh. <laughs> <laughs> like guys out of his car. You're just melting. Yeah, I'm just You're like, sweating. come on, <laughs> you could have told me I was right behind you. <laughs> but then they, you know, go break the trans or something. It's it's without fail. Yeah. <laughs>